Hello everyone, I am going to make a presentation on Sys validation and verification. This is an introduction topic. The video is being taken on behalf of instrumentationtools.com and automationcommunity.com. Kindly watch and subscribe. Sys validation and verification. Safety instrumented system. Verification and validation are very critical for safe implementation and function of functioning of SIS safety instrumented system. The performance of any new safety instrumented systems are to be verified and validated before the system is taken into service. Certain steps in the SIS work process comply with the requirements of SIS verification and validation. Uh, we have gone through the safety instrumented system work process which is having multiple steps so one of the step is calling for sys verification and validation after the implementation of the field instrumentation sensors uh, valves on off valves and the logic solvers and all so then it comes sys verification and subsequently when the process side connections everything is ready it goes for the validation it is necessary to use return loop verification procedures for the loop check and the commissioning of the SIF sensors, logic solvers and final elements. Once the safety instrumented system uh, related uh, sensors, lo logic solver and final control elements are placed in uh, service, placed in line, they have to do the loop verification process and subsequently when the systems are ready, the one uh, for the complete loop meaning which is including the functioning of the sensor logic solver and final elements together they have to do an validation we'll go over, go over it in the coming slides sys verification we'll look, look into it what is this verification sys verification is the activity of confirming by examination checking of the sys uh, instrument sensor logic solver and the final control element meets the sys design requirements of the safety function have been fulfilled so uh, this is to ensure that the uh, all the sys components are meeting the sys design requirements second sys verification performed on the entire loop by simulating the process conditions and ensure the sensors respond properly and valves perform stroking. Return loop verification procedures shall be used for loop check and commissioning of the safety instrumented function sensors, logic solver and final elements. So there has to be a return procedure in order that the testing goes properly so, and, the, that, and the verification is completed successfully. Sys verification confirms that a system element meets the design to or build to specifications. Through the system's life cycle, design solutions at all levels of the physical architecture are verified through a cost effective combination of analysis, examination, demonstration, and testing, all of which can be aided by modeling and simulation. In certain cases, there is a level sensor which is requiring the tank to be filled up to 10 meters or 20 meters even. So, it is practically difficult to do a level building. So, in such cases, we have to do on the uh, level sensor by simulation, either by filling the uh, level chamber or by injecting uh, the required equivalent uh, composition of like water or any other equivalent media to bring uh, bring the actual level until the 10 meters or 20 meters and ensure that the reading is appearing in the uh, control room which administrations also if there are any alarms built in the particular level sensor in between the maximum range that has to be verified as a part of the sys verification process Okay, sys validation. Sys validation is the activity of demonstrating by inspection and testing that the safety related system under consideration after the installation 
meets in all respects the safety requirements specifications for the safety related system. The performance of safety instrumented system shall be both verified and validated before being placed into service. Because safety instrumented system is the one safeguarding any hazards happening within the process area. So, they have to be tested, verified and the functioning of the safety instrumented system sensors, logic solver and final element has to be validated. Validation means testing all the components together. Whenever a particular level sensor is going high, that is giving an indication to the logic solver and the logic solver is performing the internal logic, uh, uh, logic uh, internal logics and then sends the output to the valve to do the closure of the particular, particular tanks in an inlet valve. So, this complete uh, loop is known as valid uh, testing is known as validation validation is one time process in the entire sys life cycle which is performed before commissioning of particular system or loop so validation is done only once whereas verification will be done whenever the sensors or final elements are being removed for the testing purpose or proof testing purpose whenever they are taken away or uh, any maintenance or repairs is being done, those times also um, the loop verification has to be done. Every time whenever the instrument is uh, removed from location or repaired and put back in service under those conditions, the instrument final elements has to be loop verified. Whereas validation is a complete testing of the sensor, logic, solver and final elements together. So it has to be done only one time during the safety instrument system life cycle which is the first time of the commissioning of the particular system. Validation procedures self functionally test the entire system during initial validation. Each element in a seal loop from measuring element through the logic solver to the final control device shall be validated as defined in the validation procedure to fulfill the safety instrument function. Validation activity has a clear meaning per IEC 61511 and IEC 61508. It is the validation of SIS in respect to SRS safety requirement specification including implementation and resolution of resulting recommendation. Validation procedures shall functionally test the entire system during the initial validation. Each element in a SIL loop from the measuring element through the logic solver to the final element shall be validated as defined in the validation procedure to fulfill the safety instrumented function. So, the verifying of the all components in a single stroke meaning um, uh, activating the sensors up to the um, trip level very high level or very high temperature very high pressure and uh, activation of the logic solvers uh, logic commands and closure of the respective inlet valves isolation valves, emergency shutdown system valves so all these three put together has to be tested in a single go that's known as validation for the safety instrumented sensors system okay we'll go over the complete uh, Synopsis. Validation is the activity of demonstrating the inspection and testing that the safety related system under construction of translation meets in all respects the safety requirement specification, safety requirement specifications for the safety related system. The performance of safety instrumented system shall be both verified and validated before being placed into service. This is the most critical requirement for the safety instrumented system sensors, logic solver and final elements to ensure that they operate at the time of demand because we are always talking about the safety system, safety system and all. They are in the service, they are put in the process plants for the safety, for maintaining the safety of the plant and safeguard of the operation personnel, maintenance personnel and the personnel working around as well as the equipment and the environment. So, no chance shall be taken 
to uh, defeat the pur the purpose the working of those instruments valves etc so the validation validation and verification has to be performed as per the design requirements and as per the written procedures to ensure that they operate perfectly during the time of demand because during the time of demand they have to act at that time testing and see whether it can work or no like that the chance cannot be taken because being uh, the safety instrumented system they have to be given utmost priority thank you